Oh, we get what we deserve And we're down we go actually recording this intro a few days late. Uh, we arrived at the Tekapo Canals on Monday. It's now Thursday. Aaron and his dad Norma down here. Um, it's Thursday, yeah, Thursday today, so we've had uh, Monday, late Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday fishing. And uh, this morning I just had to shoot through to Clyde to get my weekly chemotherapy treatment. Just driving back to Tekapo now and we should be able to get or will get tonight and tomorrow morning and before we have to leave. So yeah the fishing this year has been really tough. We've only landed a couple of 13s and one 15 pounder. There's a few others being caught but not anywhere near as good fishing as uh, previous years unfortunately. Still good fun trying though. Trying to film this sort of fishing is a bit tough. We um, were often separated up and down the canals and um, there's so few fish being caught the odds of getting a hook up on film are pretty remote so all we got really is a bit of the old obligatory playing of the fish and landing the fish and that's about it really so um, have a squiz, see what you think. What's happening there? Playing the guitar. Playing the guitar, tight, yeah. tight line. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Solid. Yeah, taking you for a walk, is he? Yeah. Yeah, less the pressure off there. Less the pressure off there. I can't reach him. Got him. Got him. Come on. Got him. It was a hard case on the first night, Monday night. Um, there must have been 15 or 20 people on the magic carpet. Those of you that have been to the canals before will know where I'm talking about. 
But uh, there's one young lady there from Tauranga, I believe, and uh, this is this was her first time fishing. She kind of got given a rod and shown how to cast and drift down with the current. And in the space of two hours, she got um, seven seven fish between 15 and 25 pounds. Um, <laughs> yeah, so that was a real hard case. There's the odd one caught by other people, but seven and two hours from a complete newbie was awesome. You can believe in beginner's luck if you like, but I reckon it was more of a case of that fact that, um, well, some people call it a fact, some people reckon it's a myth, but that uh, female anglers are better than males. I tend to believe the latter personally. I've seen it before more than once. As far as equipment goes, here's a wee clip from uh, last year's video of the gear that we were using. Alright, what sort of rig are you using there Aaron? Well again, I don't know if it's, we're just trying to learn as we go but from what we can pick up this is what, what we're supposed to do. So we've got the main line there, I've got a little three way swivel. So I've got the main line. I've got a dropper off that going down to a sinker and these are supposed to be the new fanned angle sinkers. Apparently you can't catch a fish without one of these. <laughs> and the idea is that, that they will bounce on the bottom like that and keep it out of the weeds to stop getting snagged. So I've got a bit... What, 12 inches above the sinker? Yeah. And then I've got my leader coming off here. And I'll make it about that long, <laughs> whatever that is. And, uh, so it's basically 12 inches above the sinker, he's got a T intersection with a dropper off the T of about a metre long. Hmm. Yep. And then the hook on the end of that. Yep. And yeah, like the Aaron says, the idea is for the sinker to bounce along the bottom. And the um, dropper with the hook on the end kind of just bouncing along 12 inches off the bottom. Currently the idea is that these fish are so well fed and they're so big that they don't have to work very hard for their food. So they just basically sit there with their gobs open, that's all I've been told, and you've try, almost got to float it into them. They don't work very hard for their food because there's so much food they don't have to. Yeah. So um, the idea is, is with that sinker creating some drag, the leader's out in front and the first thing the fish sees is the, is the egg. And the idea is, is to use as light a gear as you can to try and create the most natural drift so it's not dragging and does look unnatural. But um, this is all a bit of a challenge at the moment. Especially when they're not biting. <laughs> yeah, well, I don't know if it's that or us, mate. <laughs> but yeah, it's good fun trying anyway. Oh, yeah. We've shifted spots now. We're um, right down the bottom of the Tekapai Canal by the salmon cages. Aaron's hooked up again. He caught quite a a few here last year. Fish, eh? Yeah. Good condition. Beautiful. Nice, eh? Yeah, real good condition. Yeah. Look at that small head. Yeah. Good? Yep. Shake. You better do more gym work then. Oh. Yeah. What? The branch gave me a good fight. 
It's a good branch. Got beaten by the branch. The branch beat me. It's that fish, fish branch. Common in these waters. One of those snags that feels like it could almost come alive. Just found a little brown trout on the edge here that I'm going to buff the fly over in a minute. Down over there. Oh yep. Yeah. I can see. Oh, he spooked, didn't he? Right over him. How'd that go for you, Nick? Yeah, it was pretty good. Highly, success highly successful. Yeah. Hey, hey, how's it? Uh, just driving back to Wanaka. We've reached the end of our canal trip. Um, I think since I talked to you last, uh, we're on our third day. And from there we had uh, an afternoon and a morning. Um, it was all that was left. So last night I managed a 13 pound jack and a 17 pound hen. I uh, got them both off a, a red that they were digging away on. And Norm managed to get a 23 pounder on the magic carpet. Um, real nice big fish. Here's a photo of it right here. And so, um, no more footage, unfortunately. We, um, again, we were separated most of the time, different parts of the canal, so couldn't really get much uh, more filming done, but hope you enjoyed that anyway. I think our next trip is going to be a midwinter hunt back home in Marlborough for pigs and deer. Uh, we'll go and chase them around, hopefully, for a weekend or maybe a long weekend with the bows so uh, yeah look out for that one I hope you enjoyed this one and we'll see you again Hooroo.